We're here with VMI track and field coach Darren Webb and coach heading into the conference meet this weekend down in Myrtle Beach. Emily Denning has certainly been on a roll these past three weeks with two junior national qualifying times and just missing a third. You know, Emily's done a great job. She's been able to get some consistent training in uh, through the outdoor season and uh, it's really starting to pay dividends. I, you know, I look for her to actually continue to improve. I don't I think we're anywhere near her peak yet. Jenna Moy has also had a very good outdoor season with two more school records. Touch on not only her running, but the leadership role she's taken with the distance and mid-distance group. Well, Brad, she's been uh, just amazing in the leadership role with some of these younger kids and, and doing the little things. And you know, even when she was banged up uh, during cross country and early into indoor, she still uh, you know, stayed involved and, and really continued to work and keep everybody motivated to get better. Um, through this outdoor, I think the biggest thing is is just consi consistency. She's been able to train um, over an extended period of time, and, and she, just like Emily, starting to see some of the results of it. In terms of the throws, Mary Grace Lemon, of course, was freshman of the year last year at this meet. Uh, this year, she'll have more competition in the discus, but she'll also have a uh, sidekick, if you will, in Renee Reeves. What are your feelings on the women's throws? Well, you know, I'm excited about the women's throws. It, um, I think both of them are in a position where they're really uh, ready to, to have a breakout meet. And, you know, I, it's hard to say that about Mary Grace after being a freshman of the year. But, you know, from terms of their training and their consistency of training and uh, from day to day, we're seeing the improvement. We haven't quite seen it on the track where we want to see it um, in, in the competitions. But I look for both of them to make large improvements. Uh, you know, Mary Grace, especially in the, in the discus, um, she's been making the large improvements in the hammer. I looked at her for her discus to jump, um, and with Reeves, you know, she's a freshman, and, and some some weeks it's good, some weeks it's just okay. But she's had really solid weeks uh, in the shot put, so I look for that to be good, and I look for that discus to kind of surprise some people. To be quite honest with you, Brad. All right, Coach. Finally, the pole vault, which has become the key that trademark event of sorts, uh, as the vault coach assess those four vaulters' recent performances and readiness for conference. Well, I can assure you one thing: all four of them are ready to go this weekend. Uh, we jumped well yesterday at practice. Um, you know, Kate has uh, been uh, pretty consistent or very consistent over the last three weekends. Um, you know, we've got to continue to to make improvements upward. You know, Jen hasn't been quite assistant, consistent uh, in, in the month of April. Uh, but, I, you know, I look for them all to rise to the occasion this, this coming weekend. Carrie and Nicole, Nicole's fighting some low back issues. And, and you know, Carrie's been up, she's been down. But I, I look for, you know, top-notch performances and, and seasonal PRs at, at least uh, this weekend. And just kind of go from there and see where that puts us.